Quattro Dias. Also, day four. Okay, I'm going to give you a little quick tour of this room because this is what it looks like when me and Aaron go on a photography adventure. All right, get, get this. You have the following. A Z6, a Leica CL, battery chargers, lens caps, lenses, editing computers. You have stacks of batteries, backup hard drives, yet another editing computer. All right, coming around the room, tripods. There's another Z6 over this way. Two Nikon film cameras, fit camera bags, a Z50. There's another camera bag. Got that one yesterday at Bedford Camera. Bedford Camera is awesome. Another camera bag. Yet another camera bag with more cameras. This is the kind of stuff that we get into. Here, two more camera bags. We bring way more gear than we ever thought we would need. And we always end up trying to use all of it. Okay, we pulled over in St. Paul, Arkansas. We're in the Ozark Mountains now. We just drove a real windy road. Literally, the sign said, very windy and steep. And we saw it, and sure enough, it was very windy and steep. Now we're at a little convenience store, as you can see. Aaron's getting his photos of the gas pumps. We've got this little thing going where we stop at these old convenience stores and photograph the gas pumps. So I'm gonna get the convenience store best I can. It looks like corner store is still an actual running store, but this building's not. And then here comes a, this guy, I think we followed him through the Ozark though. All right, we pulled over on the side of the road somewhere in the Ozarks. Check out this old truck. I definitely got to get a photo of that guy. And across the street is an old stripped out tree filled with buzzards. Looks like something out of a... Literally, the only car in either direction. Had to come by while I was vlogging. <laughs> anyway, that tree right there is filled with buzzards. I may get out the 50 mil and just get a photo of that with the background. Just the silhouettes of the buzzards in the tree looks cool. And they're not flying off because we're here. Normally they'll fly away, but they're pretty tolerant today. Oh, it's an old Dodge. Dude, this thing's epic. Got a wooden seat in here. All right, we've stopped in a little sleepy town on top of a mountain in the Ozarks called Eureka Springs. We're going to Bubba's Southern Pit Barbecue. And as their sign says, it may not look famous, but it is. This place looks interesting too. We'll go there after we eat. It's Eureka Vintage Outdoor. Pre-loved, pre-loved camping equipment, hiking, floating, cycling, local products, eclectic and vintage loot. We'll have to see what that's about. at our first official stop, which is known as this. It's right back there. 
this Thorn Crown Chapel is some kind of really big deal in Arkansas. So we've driven all the way up here to see it. So maybe it'll turn out to be as good as it's leading us on to believe. From what I can see through the trees, it is. As a side note, it is raining too, like actively raining. I'm not sure how weather seal a Z50 is. Not thinking that it is. All right, we have stopped literally at another gas station. But this one is not like all the other ones. This one has more modern looking pumps, but yet they're still like super decrepit. Oh look, this diesel pump don't even have the nozzle. Someone just took the nozzle. <laughs> yeah. We are somewhere in between Bryson City, Missouri. Oh, we're not in Arkansas. We're in, we're in Missouri. We're in Missouri now, by the way. We're headed to Bryson City. Never been there. We're somewhere in between, what was that? Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and Bryson City, Missouri. About halfway. Yeah, yeah, we're right on the state line. But this, like Aaron said, this whole decrepit gas station thing is starting to become a creature of its own. <laughs> We're gonna print books. <laughs> this is about to become a photo project. <laughs> Officially in Branson, Missouri. It was a long drive to get here. Even though it was only like 49 miles or something like that, it just seemed like it took forever because we're driving in the rain. And it's still draining a little bit. We're on the back side of the front. The front's heading away from us, so it should quit raining in a few minutes. But we're not as excited about Branson as we thought we would be. So it's kind of just commercialized tourist stuff and you know you know t-shirt shops and restaurants and bars and the usual kind of fare in these kind of places we're probably not going to stick around here a long time we have finally found something to photograph after several hours of pretty much nothing but rain and blah the southern part of missouri didn't have a whole lot going on here we go i'll squat down behind the truck and get out of the wind Woo, buddy there we go um but now we have found another gas station and this is the one we're going to photograph this time look at this guy seems to be an old truck stop so i'm gonna get my photos the wind's blowing like mad here there's a front moving through and we've been kind of running behind it the whole way. So it's been drizzling rain on us the whole drive, but we're going to uh, Poplar Springs, I believe it is, or Poplar Bluff. And then we're gonna stay there tonight. And then we're gonna drive on over to a secret place I'll tell you about in the morning. So let's get this photo and get gone. I'm just gonna be honest.
honest with you, I wasn't prepared for this. It's cold and windy. <laughs> it's not fun here right now. We got some really pretty cool photos. The Urban Decay photos are turning out really good. I'm liking this. You find anything interesting? I think you're still shooting film. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to shoot this roll of film. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Okay. That's that FP4 that we salvaged. Oh, okay. 